differentiate each expression. So here we have examples of a constant being multiplied by um, a variable term. When we have this uh, case right here, we want to um, keep our constant term just out front and then take the derivative of x cubed. So we're going to have negative 2 and then the derivative of x cubed, we take the, the exponent 3, we write our variable x and we subtract 1 from the exponent. So this becomes negative 2, 3x squared. But now we can multiply those constant terms with the coefficients together. So negative 6 times 3, or negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. So negative 6x squared. It doesn't matter whether we have um, terms that are being divided. Um, we can still use the same rules that we know about rewriting this as a negative exponent just to make our lives easier to find the derivative. So I can rewrite this as negative 3 and then I'm going to write uh, my exponent, my term, as a negative exponent instead. So I'm going to take the derivative of this term. And when I take the derivative now of this, I'm going to keep my negative 3 out front and then just take the derivative of my, um, my term, my x to the negative 2. So I'm going to mm -hmm. multiply by my exponent, negative 2, write my variable x, and then I'm going to subtract 1 from my exponent. So that gives me negative 3 times negative 2 x to the negative 3 which is going to give us, if I multiply these numbers together, negative 3 times negative 2 is 6, x to the negative 3. But good mathematical pro, um, uh, you know, steps or you know, solutions, we want to have this as a positive exponent, so I'm going to write this as 6 over x to the cubed. And it doesn't matter whether we have... Um, radicals or not, remember the rules about radicals. If I'm trying to differentiate this expression, I could rewrite this as this expression here as the square root of 2 times the square root of x. And if I'm taking the derivative of this, then I can separate this by finding, um, by taking the constant term out um, and then just finding the derivative of the square root of x. Um, that's one of the rules that we can, can use. And instead of writing this as the root of x, I could write this as a rational exponent of x to the 1 half. And then it becomes easier for me to take the derivative of. So I'm going to write this as the square root of 2, multiply by my 1 half, x, and then 1 half take away 1. This is going to give us the square root of 2 times 1 half x to the negative 1 half. So what is this going to look like if I clean this all up? Well, I'm going to have root 2 in the, in the numerator. I'm going to have 2 in the denominator. And this um, x to the negative 1 half will also be in the denominator. And instead of writing it as a rational exponent, I can write this as a radical. So root 2 over 2 root x.